Welcome to Safe Conveyor. This video is being made to demonstrate a safe conveyor with a photoelectric eye that's being used to index parts that are being dropped on it. So let's say, for example, that you have a automated process. It's producing some kind of part or filling something, and then it's got to be taken out, placed somewhere, and then you start the next one. Well, you can place it on the conveyor, but then the next time you come back, unless somebody's taken that part, it's still sitting there. So what this does, you use a photoelectric sensor. The sensor is looking across the conveyor belt. It's a reflector. When the beam is broken, the sensor is going to turn on. It's going to cycle for a predetermined time. Right now we have it set for five seconds. You can set this particular sensor up to 10 seconds and then it will just do that function and then be ready for the next part. So if we had a package that was being put on the conveyor, it would turn on and it would move for that amount of time. Do it again, put it on there, and it's gonna move for the same amount of time. Now the distance between them is gonna be controlled by the time you set on the sensor and the speed that the conveyor moves. Right now when you put that on there, you can see that the speed is running at 10 feet per minute. So using five seconds, 10 feet per minute, that sets the gap. Change the speed is easier. All you have to do is dial it up. Changing the time, you're only limited up to 10 seconds. Now once your product is all starting to fill in, there's an operator at the end who'd like to take those pieces. We have a call button, which is basically a bypass. So when you press that button, that's gonna call the belt, turn it on, and run it down. I would advise having a stop bar so you can run them down, they don't go on the floor, and that's now sliding under the product. That's what we call low pressure accumulating. Now, if you were to take the same sensor here and put it at the end of the conveyor, sort of like where the switch is, you could have something come to the end of the line see and stop but don't forget that when you do that the whole line stops so if somebody's putting things on the other end they're not being moved out of the way so the best way to have that clear zone where you drop something on and it clears is with a sensor at this end this is something that uh, safe conveyor offers it's advisable that you order it factory installed you have to correctly wire everything to the motor. We have a ability to give you a quote for how much that would cost. This particular job is being done. I'm not sure what they're putting on it. Not everybody tells us what they're putting on. So it is a clear zone system available from Safe Conveyor. And that's how it works. Thanks for watching.